Imagine a life where every day is filled with joy, fulfillment, and inner peace. A life where bad days are a thing of the past. This might sound like a fantasy, but with the right mindset and tools, it is entirely possible. By embracing the teachings of Stoicism, we can learn to transform our lives and indeed never have a bad day again. In this video, we'll explore seven powerful lessons rooted in Stoic philosophy that will guide you to a life of tranquility and contentment. Lesson 1. Start with a positive morning routine. Starting your day off right is the first thing you can do to make sure you never have a bad one. The first thing we do in the morning sets the tone for the whole day. One of the most important ideas in Stoicism is to be aware and deliberate, especially in the morning. An encouraging practice in the morning can help us center ourselves, clear our minds, and get ready for the day ahead. Get up a little earlier than usual to start the day. Do not rush yourself when you wake up. Take your time. Take a moment to stretch, breathe deeply, and be thankful that another day has come. Taking a moment to relax or think about what's coming up is a great stoic habit. Think about the problems you might face and how you can deal with them in a cool and sensible way. One of the most well-known stoic thinkers, Marcus Aurelius, would start his day by thinking about things in order to stay calm and do the right thing. He would tell himself that people would annoy him and things would not go his way. You can already give yourself an attitude that can handle problems by getting your mind ready for the day. Physical routines can also help your morning routine in addition to getting your mind ready. Your body and mind can feel better after drinking a glass of water, eating a healthy breakfast, and doing some light exercise. Figure out what works best for you and make it a habit that you look forward to every morning. This security and comfort comes from being consistent and it gives you a base for the rest of your day. A good morning practice is more than just a list of things to do. It's also about setting an attitude of gratitude, readiness, and calm. You set yourself up for success and make sure that no matter what happens, you start the day strong and positive by taking charge of the first part of it. Lesson 2. Practice Gratitude Stoic thought is based on gratitude which is also one of the best ways to keep a positive attitude. They thought that we can be happy and pleased with our lives if we focus on what we have instead of what we don't have. It's simple to focus on what we don't have or what isn't going right in this fast-paced world. Being grateful takes our attention off of the bad things in our lives and puts it on the good things. The first thing you can do is to think about what you are thankful for every day. This might be something as easy as the sun's warmth, the sound of birds singing, or having a roof over your head. By actively noticing the good things in your life, you train your brain to look for those things instead of dwelling on the bad ones. Another important Stoic thinker, Seneca, wrote a lot about how important it is to enjoy the little things in life. He thought that wanting less was more important than having more when it comes to happiness. We know we have everything we need to be happy when we focus on the good things that are already in our lives. Giving thanks to others is another powerful way to practice gratitude. Say thanks to someone for being kind, acknowledge a friend's help, or just let them know you respect them. This not only makes your relationships stronger, but it also helps you think in a more positive and abundant way. Writing in a book is another way to practice gratitude. Write down three things you're thankful for every day. These don't have to be huge. Even small gifts are important. Over time, you'll start to notice that the way you think has changed. You will always find something to be thankful for, even when things are hard. Being grateful on a daily basis makes us strong-willed and able to see the good in everything. We can take comfort in the good things we have even when things don't go as planned. Being thankful opens the door to a life full of happiness, peace, and contentment. Lesson 3. Set intentions, not just to-do lists. It's important to know the difference between setting goals and just making to-do lists if we want to never have a bad day again. To-do lists help us keep track of what we need to do, but they tend to focus on what we need to do instead of how we want to spend our day. On the other hand, setting intentions means making a stronger promise to align our actions with our beliefs and purpose. 
The Stoics stressed how important it was to live a good life and make sure that your deeds were in line with your beliefs. Do not get lost in your to-do list. Instead, stop and think about what kind of person you want to be today. What traits do you want to have? What kind of person do you want to be? Setting goals helps you go through the day with purpose and clarity. Instead of writing down, go to the gym as a task, you could say, honor my body and prioritize my health. Or, instead of finish the report, you could say, approach my work with focus and diligence. This way of organizing your tasks helps you not only get things done, but also develop a mindset that is in line with your core values. Intentions also help us control our hopes and keep us from being let down. We make ourselves stressed and angry when we set goals that are too high or fill our days with too many things to do. Focusing on our goals helps us decide what's most important and let go of the need to do everything. Setting goals also helps us stay flexible, which is a good thing. Things don't always go as planned in life. If we are too stuck on a rigid list of things to do, unplanned events can take us off track. When we set intentions, on the other hand, our ideals guide us instead of specific results. We can handle changes with grace and strength because we are flexible. This way, even if our plans change, our attitude stays strong. Take a moment at the end of each day to think about how you lived up to your goals. Enjoy the times you behaved in a way that was consistent with your values and think about what you could do better tomorrow. In Stoicism, this way of thinking about yourself is called premeditatio malorum. It helps you learn from your mistakes and keep growing. You can make your day more important and satisfying by making intentions instead of just to-do lists. You pay attention to what's important and make sure your deeds are in line with your values. This deliberate way of living is a powerful way to make sure you never have another bad day. Lesson 4. Manage stress effectively. Life will always have stress, but how we deal with it can make a huge difference. The Stoics thought that we can choose how to react to things that happen around us. We can handle worry with grace and strength if we train our minds to be calm and in charge. The idea of dichotomy of control is one of the most important ideas in Stoicism. It says that there are some things we can control and some things we can't. We have no power over what other people do, the weather, or how things turn out. We can, however, change the way we think, act, and feel. Focusing on what we can change and letting go of what we can't frees us from stress and worry that we don't need. When something is making you feel stressed, take a moment to ask yourself, is this something I can control? If the answer is no, learn to accept it and move on. If the answer is yes, you should do something about it. This change in how you think can give you a lot of power and keep you from feeling stressed by things you can't change. Negative visualization is another stoic way to deal with worry. This means picturing the worst case situations and getting ready in your mind for them. In spite of what it might seem like, this actually helps to lower fear and worry. If you think about possible problems ahead of time, you will be better prepared to deal with them when they happen. Also, you see things in a bigger picture and realize that even the worst case situation isn't always as bad as it seems. Being mindful and meditating are also great ways to deal with stress. Being mindful meant living in the present moment and focusing on the here and now for the Stoics. It's less likely that we will worry about the future or feel bad about the past when we are fully present. Meditation can help you feel more at peace with yourself and calm your mind, which can make it easier to deal with stress when it comes up. Deep breathing, yoga, and tai chi are all physical activities that can help you deal with stress by relaxing you and calming your nervous system. Regular exercise is an important part of a stress-free life because it lowers stress and makes you feel better generally. Keep in mind that stress is not always a bad thing. This is a normal reaction to problems, and it can push you to grow and make changes. The important thing is to deal with worry well so that it doesn't take over your life. You can become more resilient and keep a calm, centered mind, no matter what life throws at you by following stoic principles and practices. 
Lesson 5. Stay physically active. Being active is not only important for keeping your body healthy, but it's also a great way to improve your mental health and social health. The Stoics knew how important health was and thought it was an important part of living a good life. Being physically busy can improve our mood, give us more energy, and make our lives better in general. Endorphins are the body's natural feel-good chemicals. They help lower stress and worry and make you feel good about your health. Regular exercise also helps you sleep better, think more clearly, and keep your immune system healthy. We are better able to deal with life's problems and keep a good attitude when our bodies are healthy and strong. Physical exercise doesn't have to be hard or take a lot of time to fit into your daily life. Find things you like to do and make their normal part of your life. This could be anything from dancing, yoga, running, swimming, or riding a bike to walking, running, swimming, or cycling. Things that work best are those that you enjoy and that fit with your daily life. The Stoics saw exercise as more than just a way to stay fit. They saw it as a way to learn to be disciplined and in charge of themselves. They thought that if we pushed ourselves physically, we could also make our minds stronger and more resilient. Regular exercise takes dedication and work, and it teaches us to push through pain and get past problems. This practice helps us stay focused, determined, and strong when things get hard in other parts of our lives as well. Not only should you do structured exercises, but you should also be busy all day. Move your body as much as possible. For example, instead of taking the lift, take the stairs. Go for a walk during your lunch break. Do yoga or stretching in the morning. Your health can improve a lot when you make small changes over time. Remember that working out isn't just about getting in shape or reaching a certain level of fitness. It's also about taking care of your mind and body. Take care of yourself in a whole person way and respect the gift of movement. Staying busy not only makes you healthier, but it also helps you develop a positive, strong, and joyful attitude. Physical exercise should be an important part of your daily life. It will improve your mood, give you more energy, and make you feel better about life in general. When you take care of your body, you also take care of your mind and spirit. This will make sure you never have a bad day again. Lesson 6. Connect with others. Connecting with other people is an important part of living a happy, full life. The Stoics knew that society and relationships were important for making people feel like they belonged and giving them joy. They pushed for freedom and self-sufficiency, but they also knew that people are social by nature and that having meaningful relationships with other people is important for our health. To never have a bad day again, you need to build and care for strong ties. Put yourself around positive, helpful people who will lift you up and inspire you. Find people who value the same things you do and want you to be your best self. But also be aware of situations that drain your energy or bring bad things into your life. Setting healthy limits and putting relationships that bring you joy and success first are important. Kindness and service are two of the most important ways to connect with other people. The Stoics thought it was important to live in peace with others and do good things for society as a whole. When you help someone in need, support a friend, or are just nice to a stranger, you not only make their lives better, but you also feel fulfilled and like you have a purpose in life. To make relationships that matter, you also need to show empathy and actively listen. We build stronger connections and feel more connected with others when we take the time to really listen to them and see things from their point of view. Try to be fully present in conversations without judging or getting distracted. Show that you care about other people's lives and offer your support and guidance. Another important thing is to learn to be thankful and appreciate the people in your life. Spend some time telling your friends, family, and coworkers how grateful you are. Tell them how much you appreciate having them in your life and how much they make you feel better. This not only makes your relationships stronger, but it also helps you think in a more positive and abundant way. Even though technology has made it easier to connect with others, it's still important to remember how valuable it is to talk to people in person. Spend valuable time with people you care about, whether it's eating together, 
going for a walk, or just talking about important things. Having these moments of connection is very important to our general health and happiness. By connecting with others and taking care of your relationships, you build a support system that can help you handle life's difficulties more easily and with more strength. You also feel a happiness and satisfaction that come from having deep connections with other people and sharing important experiences. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, We are not alone. We are meant to live in harmony with others. If you really believe this, your days will be full of happiness, love, and connections. Lesson 7. Reframe Negative Thoughts Changing the way we think about bad things is the last thing we need to learn to never have a bad day again. Our thoughts have a big effect on how we feel and what we do, and how we see things can have a big effect on how we live our lives. The Stoics knew how important it was to be in charge of one's thoughts. They used a method called cognitive reframing to change negative thoughts into more positive and powerful ones. Cognitive reframing means questioning negative thoughts and changing them with more positive and accurate ones. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, say, this is a challenge, but I can figure it out. Also, instead of dwelling on a mistake, see it as a chance to learn and ask yourself what you can take away from it. It was the Stoic philosopher Epictetus who said, people are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. In other words, what makes us upset is not what happens, but how we think about it. If we change how we think about something, we can change how we feel about it. The love of fate, or amor fati, is a good way to change the way you think about bad things. This stoic idea tells us to see everything that happens to us as an important part of our journey, good or bad. Try not to fight or dislike obstacles, Instead, see them as chances to learn and get better. If you think this way, you can turn problems into learning opportunities and failures into important lessons. The view from above is another strong stoic practice. This is done by picturing yourself looking down on your life from above, as if you were in the sky. You can see the bigger picture from this point of view, and know that your present problems are only a small part of your journey as a whole. This point of view can help you understand what's going on, feel less stressed, and stay cool and collected. Also, it's important to be kind to yourself and know that having bad thoughts is a normal part of being human. Don't judge yourself for having them. Instead, accept them with understanding and love. Keep telling yourself that it's okay to feel bad feelings and that you can choose how to deal with them. You can change the way you feel about life and make sure you never have a bad day again by rethinking negative thoughts and developing a more upbeat attitude. Always keep in mind that your thoughts are not facts and that you can choose how to understand and react to things that happen in your life. Don't be afraid of this power. It will make your days peaceful, joyful, and strong. To develop a strong, positive, and peaceful mind, Try incorporating these seven lessons from stoic thought into your daily life. Start your day on purpose, be thankful, set important goals, deal with stress well, stay active, connect with others, and change the way you think about negative things. You can handle life's problems with ease and make sure you never have a bad day again if you have these tools. It's important to remember that happiness is something we make ourselves by the way we think, act, and feel. Following the ideas of Stoicism will help you see that each day it is a chance to learn, grow, and live a happy, full life.